On the centenary of her death, congregations up and down the land celebrated the life of Edith Cavill. Abide with me was the hymn she sung to herself before she was executed at dawn by a German firing squad. The British nurse had treated soldiers from both sides and she helped the British escape from behind the lines until she was betrayed. It's a commemoration for a woman who, who was executed, who died, but it is a celebration of her achievements, a celebration of, of what women can achieve, of nurses and um, what they can achieve. And also, I think, with all the war and so forth going on today, it's, it's, a, it's a message of sort of hope and, and humanity. Uh, so it's just as resonant today as it was 100 years ago. 100 years ago, World War I raged across Europe. Edith Cavill should be as famous as Florence Nightingale, and within nursing, she is. She trained at the Royal London Hospital, and today her successors paid their respects. I'm not sure that I would have been brave enough. That's what we need in life, is, is people that will go that extra mile and who will take those extra risks. And she was a marvellous example to us all. There have been services across the UK and also in Brussels. This was the dawn service in Peterborough, where Edith Cavill went to school. And back near Trafalgar Square, the Cavill family were out in force. And the name Edith lives on. Tell me about this little one here. Certainly does. Uh, my 15-month-old daughter here is called Edith. Um, we decided that if she was born a girl, which she was, she would be Edith. And she has Cavill as one of her middle names as well. And her dad is? Her dad is German. You couldn't make it up? No. Yeah, it's terrific. Edith Cavill's words are inscribed on her monument, an icon of nursing whose legacy really does live on. Simon Viger, Five News.